Hello everyone and welcome to the second activity for day 26 which is an intuitive message from your angels. So I would like you to sit comfortably, just close your eyes, place your hand on your heart and concentrate on just covering yourself in the white guiding light of your archangel. So imagine that you're surrounded by white light, you're being protected and open up your crown chakra. And then I would like you to think about which number are you intuitively drawn to? Is it number one, number two, number three, number four, or number five? Just take a few moments to think about that. Which number are you drawn to from one, two, three, four, or five? And when a number comes into your mind, that is the number that you need to listen to in terms of a message from your higher self and from your angels. Now if you thought of two numbers, or you couldn't decide between two numbers, then there's two messages there for you. So we'll begin with message number one. And the card that I drew here is take the stage. So look at this. It's absolutely beautiful. It's this person standing on the stage and there's all these fans with their arms waving in the air. Um, and this person looks like an angel and the spotlight is on them. And your message here is that basically it's time for you to take centre stage. And don't fear that in your life you are being guided to do something in a, a play a bigger game, you know, reach a bigger audience. And I feel as though you don't have to do anything specific to allow this to come into your life. But you have to um, give yourself permission to do this because an opportunity is coming for you. Um, when you think of the, the uh, phrase, the word, all the world's a stage and every player must pay, play a part, then you know that is what is coming for you. You are the, the leading person in the movie of your life and you better start thinking bigger. You better start thinking about all of the wonderful things that you want to be different and that you want to happen for you because your angels are bringing that to you and when they bring it, they don't expect you to turn it down, all right? So you're playing a bigger game now. And I would like you to take a deep breath in and then breathe out. And say these words out loud or in your mind. I am the director of my own production of life. And I create greatness in all that I do. And so it is. So that is the message for you with card number one. For those of you who chose number two, then this card is choices. So there's a choice coming at the moment or you may already be at a crossroads. You may already may be faced with a choice. And we may believe sometimes as though, you know, if you're very spiritual or if you're, you're interested in connecting with your higher self, you may believe that you don't have choices, that your life's all mapped out for you. But we get to decide consciously what, we allow into our life, who we allow into our life and what roads that we take. And so you can decide to go in a certain direction. The choice is yours. You can decide to let a certain person in as a friend or a lover. Um, you may choose a certain job role to do something with a certain amount of money that you have. And all of these choices... Always remember to take the path that is always for your highest good. And if you're not sure, if you're on the horns of a dilemma right now, then that's probably why this card's come up for you. I would like you to take a moment to go inwards. So just take a deep breath in, close your eyes, and think about the, the options that you've got. And when you think about one option, how do you feel? What is your gut feel telling you? If it feels good, if it feels as though you feel passionate and eager to do it, then that feels like it would be a good thing for you. If there's something that feels a bit off, like you get a funny sinking feeling or a feeling of foreboding or anything that just feels a bit off, 
then I think that you need to, to take longer and just really consider it carefully. And ask your angels to help you make the decision. Sleep on it, take your time. And so I'd like you to take a deep breath in. And after you've exhaled the breath, just breathe, breathe out any indecision. And say the following affirmation out loud or in your mind. I only allow love and good into my energy fields. And so it is. So if you were compelled to choose card number three, then this card is all about freedom for you. And what you need to know right now, what your angels are telling you and your intuition and your higher self is telling you is that you are a free spirit and you can set yourself free. So it feels as though you've drawn this card because you feel trapped in some way by a situation or a person or a belief um, or a mindset. That maybe you've become too caught up in the past ways of doing things or you feel as though you can't or you shouldn't do something but you really want to. Well, this message comes to you today to say that your happiness should never be limited and if something feels good and you're getting the intuitive vibes that you should do something then take a risk take the plunge and set yourself free and you can do anything this card is telling you that you can do anything and you have the freedom to do anything and go anywhere it's only you that sets the limitations and the boundaries in your life so I'd like you to take a deep breath in and to breathe out any restrictions, any feelings of being trapped or stuck or lost. And I'd like you to either say out loud or in your mind this affirmation. I reaffirm my freedom and I feel wonderful. And so it is. So if you are drawn to the number four, this fourth card is all about your third eye and your intuition. Your intuition is speaking to you really loudly and trying to tell you something. And what is it that you're not listening to or that you don't necessarily want to hear or take notice of? What is it that you have has been making you look the other way instead of listening to the messages and hearing them and getting the guidance? And Archangel Raziel is here within this card and wants to pass a message on to you, an important message about your next stage of your life purpose and you are ready to hear it. So he wants you to concentrate on opening your third eye. So go back over some of the meditations and activities around the third eye to work on that. Because you're being intuitively guided and there's an important step you need to take. There's an important message for you about your next stage of your life purpose, which is really exciting and maybe a little bit scary too. So I'd like you to take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, I would like you to let go of any fear about the next part of your soul's journey. Whatever is coming for you is wonderful and is absolutely perfect. And I would like you to say out loud or in your mind the following affirmation. I listen to my intuition and act upon the guidance in love and light. And so it is. And finally, if you were drawn to number five, get ready because you're about to go on some travels and have some great adventures. Your life is about to change in an exciting way and you are about to be whipped off and literally swept off your feet. Has your life felt as though it's been a little bit empty and stuck? Has it felt as though there's been nothing exciting, nothing new coming in? Well, all of that is about to change. The colour on this card is this beautiful light uh, uh, sort of lavender colour which it connects with your crown chakra which is opening up to all possibilities 
it's really transcending this earthly life. And you can see on the picture, this, this person is swimming with dolphins. We've got the light shining down on her, the divine light. Um, and she's just, it's like she's flying. She's either swimming or she's flying. So it's like you can ascend to the heights or you can swim to the depths of the ocean. You can, you can travel wherever it is that you want to go. And the card says that now is the time to go and enjoy yourself. Go on some adventures, your soul's ready to embrace the beauty of the planets and some much needed joy and adventure. And you so deserve it. And whatever is, has stopped you or limited you from being that person who has joy and travels and has excitement and adventure, well, the barriers are being lifted and you need to lift your own self-imposed barriers and be prepared for liftoff. So I wanted to take it a deep breath in and as you breathe out, breathe out any limitations or barriers or blocks to your adventure, excitement and travels and say out loud or in your mind the following affirmation. I fully enjoy all of the adventures of life and so it is. So I hope you've enjoyed the intuitive reading for today. And if you want to go back and listen to the readings again, you can. And also revisit this anytime because there will be a different message for you in the future. Wishing you a blessed day.